Alright guys, Michelle here and welcome to The Evil Within 2. Uh, I've yet to play this game, it's been out a little while. I've been really looking forward to it. Uh, I've held on to it for a little while and uh, now I think it's ready to play. So you just hit a big old milestone, alright? 50 million subscribers! <laughs> guys, thank you so much. It, it means so much. So naturally, I've called this RTG the Rage to Glory. I want people to be excited about FIFA again. I can't wait for this series. I hope you do enjoy. Hopefully this journey is going to be awesome. 200 subs, that's massive for me. The channel's grown so much lately. I... 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 Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 100k special. Once again, boys and girls, I just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you motherfuckers, okay? Seriously, guys, this is beyond crazy to me. I, I literally, I I'm still in a little bit of disbelief that we actually hit 100k this year. At the beginning of the year, I had like, I had like 3,000 subs. Uh, you know, I was getting like 1,000 views a video, uh, and you know, and, and I, was, I was happy with that, you know? I was, I was more than content of just slowly, slowly building up my channel, and... It just it exploded so quickly. It's beyond comprehension. So I just can like seriously, just thank you to everyone that has watched my videos, that supports the channel. Like you guys are, are seriously, I, I, you guys mean so much. So guys, I thought today we'd just do a cheeky little Q and A, just a really like quick one. Uh, I think I'm just gonna try to go through as many questions as I can as quickly as I can. Sadly, I can't do some crazy fucking, you know, I can't shoot fireworks out my asshole uh, whilst doing a backflip out of a uh, fucking monster truck. I can't do anything ridiculous. So I thought we'd just do a cheeky little Q and A. I'm just gonna go through some rapid fire, you know, I'm just gonna go through questions and, and answer as many things as I can. I do also have to to crack on and edit some other. Other stuff so again it is probably going to be a little bit of a short Q&A but I will try my best to get through as many questions as I can. So question number one if you could play with one icon in FIFA 21 that was not in the game who would it be? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I would probably say um, I would love to use Edgar Davids. I would love to use that card. I feel like he'd be like super well-rounded, but you know, he'd also have the goggles there. He'd be such a cool uh, FIFA card in my opinion. I am really looking forward to using Fernando Torres though. That was uh, that was one of the ones that I did really want to use, so that should be pretty exciting next year. What got you into YouTube and what's your best advice for growing a YouTube channel? Love your vids, great edits. Um, so first of all, what got you into YouTube? Uh, my friends were suggesting that I start a YouTube channel because I would, I would play FIFA in like party chat and they were just saying like Michelle your rages and stuff are really funny so that's what made me want to do videos I also had it in the back of my mind just from watching YouTube that I, that's something I would love to do at some point it took me a little while to actually get down and do videos because I was like really nervous to make videos and stuff but eventually I got myself to make videos and I was just grinding that out and I was having like so much fun and I obviously wasn't very good at it but I progressively got better and better and you know at this point I feel like I'm okay at videos at this point as for advice for growing a channel that is kind of difficult to say because it kind of depends on what you're doing. When it comes to making FIFA videos, I feel like it's really important when you're starting off as a small channel is to really focus your videos on uh, in terms of like taggability. YouTube doesn't really recommend small channels very often. They usually only focus on bigger channels. So uh, if you're if you're like say uh, anywhere between a hundred and a thousand subscribers, you realistically want to be making videos that kind of fit a niche if that makes sense. For example, if you make a video that everyone else in the stratosphere is making uh, for example let's say a messy team of the year video it might do well I might be wrong but I feel like so many people uh, bigger youtubers and stuff like that are also gonna make that video so your video is gonna be just suffocated 
by all the bigger channels. If you just want to slowly grow up your audience, you probably want to focus on cards that people won't really think to make videos on. When I was a smaller channel, one video that did really well for me was Mark Overmars. I reviewed him in FIFA 19 and FIFA 20, and both of those videos did really well for me at the time. It's a good card that a lot of people will be searching for, but at the same time, he won't be covered by like loads of other bigger YouTubers because he's, he's kind of underrated in that aspect. I also put a lot of focus into squad builders because a lot of people do search uh, for certain squads, like 100k squad builders and stuff like that. So that, that did help me grow up a little bit. But again, obviously that was really, really slow growth. But once you get into like the three or 4k subs range, you can start experimenting a little bit. And that's exactly what I did. And then my channel went from like three or 4k subs to like 20,000 in like a week because I was doing like the, the objective videos and stuff like that. So I would say if you're really small, just try and focus really slow growth, but you know, just really slowly grow up your audience. And then as you get more and more and more and slowly build it up and, and be really consistent, then then experiment a little bit more and try different things. And you, you'll probably notice that YouTube is more inclined to recommend your content. That works for me at least. I don't know, obviously I don't know everything about YouTube, but that that's how I grew my channel. I always see anime slash manga stuff in the background of your videos. What is your favorite anime? That is a good question. It used to be Naruto, but uh, I since watched One Piece and One Piece is just so much better than any other anime I've ever seen. It's insanely long, but still like consistently ups the ante every single like fucking episode like it just gets better and better and better and better and better I really can't say the same for really any other anime to be honest with you I feel like animes are you know they sometimes have good seasons and then they sort of they kind of fluctuate a lot of the time One Piece is just always getting better and I, I let's just it's so it's so good if you haven't seen One Piece watch it it's, it's amazing who is your biggest inspiration for YouTube when you were starting out uh, when I was starting out I was watching uh, Corey X Kenshin mostly obviously I wasn't doing FIFA videos at that time I was trying to do let's plays uh, so I would say when I was starting out it was Corey X Kenshin however when I started doing FIFA videos I kind of wanted to take it into like the old school FIFA day so I would probably say like old KSI is one of the biggest influences for my my current FIFA videos later down the line I discovered like C day and stuff like that so I started to try and uh, emulate his style because he puts so much focus into editing where like there's almost like a, a meme every second I thought this is like amazing editing here so I started to try and uh, up my meme game if you like um, so I would say the biggest influence on my FIFA videos I would say it's like a mixture of like old KSI uh, C day uh, and then just general like meme type videos that you'll just see in like YouTube recommended that just sort of come out of nowhere I hope that kind of makes sense it's there's a lot of there's a lot of people that have kind of influenced my videos what would you do if you met Veron? What are your wishes for FIFA 21? Um, there's a quite a few things I want for FIFA 21. Mainly, just the passing needs to improve. I want quicker passing. I want more accurate passing and just, just yeah, just better passing than this shit. Are you studying while doing YouTube or are you looking to do a degree in the future? Also, what height are you? Uh, as for the first question, I did go to college, but I, I, I just fucking hated. I hate, I just don't like school. I, I've come to that conclusion. I can't, I can't function in a classroom. I can't sit there like this, reading and then writing. I, I can't. I can't sit still. I, it just doesn't work out. I need something to, to. I don't know. Something I'm passionate about. I, that's the main thing. So I just, I just don't like that kind of things. I'm definitely, definitely not going to be doing a degree uh, in the future. As for my height, I actually have no idea. I'm not tall at all. Though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stand up and maybe give you. I'm, a, I'm a probably like. I don't know. I'm like, I'm like short and chubby. I would, if I was to guess, I would probably say like 5'8". If you had to drop one from your team, would it be Veron or Nedved? On the basis that Veron has done so much for me, I just couldn't drop Veron. But at the same time, I don't want to drop Nedved. Like he is carrying the shit out of me in weekend league lately. Uh, he's so he's so good, lads. Like you have no idea. So I would probably, if I had to choose, I'd probably have to drop Nedved. But trust me, like he is so he is so good, and I would never want to drop him if I if I could avoid it. What was your aim when you started YouTube? Really enjoying watching your videos. Thank you very much for that. When I started out, I, I always said to myself, if I get to 100k subs, I'll be happy. Like I I don't care if I you know fall off the face of the earth. If I hit 100k, 
I've reached the goal that I wanted and we've done we've now done that the irony of that question is that this is a hundred K subs Q&A and we've done it I obviously want to strive for more I would absolutely love to to keep on going I'm not I'm not stopping anytime soon but if for whatever reason we don't gain another single sub I can at least sit there and say that I hit 100k and that was always my goal was just to hit 100k do you think FIFA 21 will be any different from FIFA 20 um it kind of depends on how you view it if you're if you're expecting drastic changes lads news flash we're not getting it at this point EA doesn't give a shit so long as their pockets are filled they're not going to make drastic changes okay you've seen it uh, if you guys have been paying attention Madden 21 is one of like the worst editions of the Madden series and I don't even play it but just from what I hear sports games do not change drastically that's just that's just the fact of the matter so if you're expecting crazy changes we're not getting it all right, we're never, I don't think we're ever going to get a drastic FIFA change. But do I think it will be a general improvement over FIFA 20? I, I find it hard. I find it hard to believe that FIFA could be any worse. You know what I mean? Like, if, if FIFA's worse next year, how? Like, it can't be worse. It has to improve because this shit is near unplayable. So, as, as of every year, I'm expecting the same old shit. Um, but again, I am ho hoping... Hoping it is at least more playable. Are you thinking of doing videos about new games or nah? Uh, I on this channel no. This will probably always be a FIFA channel. Uh, but if you want to watch other games, I've got my second channel. Uh, we upload on there. I roughly about once a week. So we do play uh, other games at the minute. I'm still playing The Last of Us, which I will have a uh, a new episode out soon, lads. I've just been a little bit busy, and it will be a cheeky one. I, I do promise you that. So if you want to see me play other games, check out my second channel. How is your family feel about YouTube in general. When I first started out, they were very skeptical. They didn't really see it as like a very logical career path, but I was I was telling them that, look guys, if I can get this audience up, there's a career to be had here. And obviously that was always the dream is just making a career out of YouTube, which we've now been able to do, which is amazing. Again, like I was saying with college and stuff, I just really did not enjoy it. So to have, uh, to, to, to have the idea of, of being a YouTuber, where you can pretty much like make the, the stuff that you want, you can make it when you want, how you want, and there's so much freedom and control. So that idea for me was it was always the dream is to again to make a to make a career out of YouTube. Now that the ball is rolling and I'm making some pretty decent money, you know, my mum and dad uh, are starting to understand that this is this is a good career, you know. Favorite word except cheeky. Oh, uh, what's my what's the cheekiest word that's not cheeky? Discombobulated. It's just what it's the best word. What editing software do you use? Uh, I use Premiere Pro. Uh, it's very good. It does cost, however, which is obviously, um, you know, not everyone can afford it, but I really like it. I think I'll do one more question. Uh, do you, did you play football IRL and were you, are you good and will you ever do an IRL football vid? So uh, first thing, did I play football IRL? I did used to. I, I played for my local team. Was I any good? I was okay. Like, I wasn't terrible. Uh, I was captain of my team at one point. I used to play centre back and, you know, I, I was all right. I, I wasn't ever, like, the quickest, Never, nor was I, like, the slowest, but, I, you know, I'm a pretty strong person. And so, you know, I was always quite good, uh, good strength wise. The only problem is when I was playing football is I never really wanted to be a centre back because when I started playing football and I joined my team, I was rubbish uh, and I obviously progressively got better. Uh, but I, I was put in the centre back position because no one else wanted to play there. And obviously, you know, I was a new kid, so they put me there. If I played football now, however, I haven't kicked a football in probably like three years. So I'd probably be horrendous. Uh, and as for whether I would do IRL football videos, I actually would like to do that. But I need to find some people to do it with. If it's the only problem there. I've wanted to do it with my friends for a while, but it, again, it's kind of like an organization thing. I need to get some, some equipment and stuff, so I might do that one day. Anyway, let's ask you the Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys learned a little bit more about me. I did answer a handful of questions that I have answered before, but obviously there's just so many new faces here that uh, I don't mind answering them again. Yeah, guys, I just want to say again, I, I know I've said it a lot now, but I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has supported the channel, because again, like, you guys don't realize, like, this is genuinely... It's transformed everything, okay? This means so fucking much to me. You guys don't even realize, okay? It means so much. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys go, all right? Peace.